I'm good. All right. I'm just looking at Area 51 on Google Maps. Area 51. Area 51. Good grief. It's on the Google Maps. Hey, that's where, that's I where just the, thought, like, that's where does the it have, so-called moonwalk was. Does it have street view? <laughs> it doesn't have street view. <laughs> no street that's view, it right bro. there. Really? Area it's 51, a big hole baby. in the ground. Area 51. Boy, well, look at that. Look at that. That set. Whoa. That's a big one. It's by Death Valley. Oh, no. Now I've zoomed out, and I'm never going to find that again. It's right there. find it now. It's also right up there to the right. It's right there on the right. Okay. That's just the tab, y'all. Okay. Anyway, welcome back to the duck call room. Well, that oh. was the big hole you zoomed out That was from. the big yeah. hole you zoomed into. That was ago. the big hole, he said. I, it was Area 51. Hold on. Let me bring it back. Area 51. Welcome back to the why duck would you? Why would you be looking at that? Why do they call well, it Because we were all 51. talking about random stuff waiting for the computers to turn on, and what? I saw a thing that said something about Area 51. Why okay. not uh, Area Face 22? Well, I assume there already was one. That's down there. I've never Lake. heard of it. Yeah. I've been to Area 7. Look, there's people's cars there. What are they doing? That looks like a sad place. I mean, what is this? It's like chicken coops. There's no color. No color. Uh, Everybody drives a white vehicle. Well, hey, easy now. I'm just yeah. saying, that's okay. Hey, but look at it. No, that ain't, they ain't driving them. That's when they're toting them folks in and out of there. Oh, no. Oh. That's where the aliens are. Hey, that's back in them vans. Yeah. That's right. Well, oh, yeah. So you vans. can't. You know, the ones they testified black. to Congress about or whatever. Oh. There's the moon landing building. What is sure. that? Is that a... You uh, think it took that much space? UFO? Or you take up... Hey, there's Ooh, an airplane. That's to send the aliens back home. That's it. Yeah. There it's all go. very interesting. Very interesting. What is happening out here in the desert? It is a runway. We're looking at a picture of Area 51. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what guy. I was looking at the internet and somebody had said something, and I was like, "I'm well, going to Google Map that." Well, Cy wants to be a space nut. Hey, I, I, I could be one. I really could. Oh, you could. There's your moon okay. landing right there. The only thing bad about it is it's it takes a lake? too long to do it. No, that ain't a lake. What is that? How long That's, do you think it'd take? That is where your boy walked on the moon, right there. Light years. You think so? Light years. And perhaps. That's right. That's where they walked on the moon, boy. You don't there think they, they went to the moon? Look, it's called Immigrant Valley. <laughs> well, that's weird. Yeah, Direct that connection weird. to. That's where they immigrate from. That's right. that's Look, where and that's immigrate. where they put their box stand. Men in, uh, yeah. So, where we've landed is that Men in Black is real well, and, and uh, well, uh, moon landing is fake. Al alien is an immigrant. That's right. Yeah, I mean, what do the aliens call us? Uh. I don't know. Uh, they don't call us human. Intruders. The problem is, I bet they don't speak English. Them intruders. Them, they may. Them foreigners. They could, why couldn't they want, Why wouldn't they speak English? I mean, I know people that barely speak English. Uh, if you're from a different planet, ain't no chance, right? Uh, I don't know. Is it? How do you know? What'd they call that? Convergent evolution, where something uh, in one place is evolving at the same time as another? Say that again. Uh, Convergent evolution. Hey, how do you know they're not evolution. going? They're going through the same thing we are. Time and time moves on. I'm calling all of it a hoax. What is this, a and trash this, pile? And this time is killing me. That's right. the body part. Right. Yeah. Oh, there's a oh. baseball field. Is that oh. a swimming pool? Where? Oh. Right there. Welcome to the America, boys. Go down. Go down. Right. Go down. The Go thing down. that right. looks right. suspiciously <laughs> like a diamond. <laughs> right there. It's there's a right. baseball field there. at Area 51. Hey, have you ever seen them aliens jump? Hey, and it's underground. Well, they ought to be. That's actually basketball play. softball field, really. But that's underground. I bet the I bet the area one slow pitch softball team gets just strapped by them aliens. Yeah. Oh, you know it. But so you're going to Pearl Harbor? Yeah, I'm going. To you want to get a you want to get a look? They at, called. They called and said, "Hey, do y'all want to go see the you know World War Two, you know Pearl Harbor?" Well, that is World not Hawaii. And I, that is. Yep. Uh, we will do it. So y'all are doing the Arizona. So that's where you're but going. Time out. Yep. I just saw something. Why in the world is there a Wright Brothers Cafe there? Cause that's a long a, way from Kitty Hawk, North I'll Carolina. Think that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Explain that, J.D. I, maybe it's a – I mean, I'm sure there's more brothers named Wright. Maybe it was their cousins. Well, yeah. so you just put an aviation museum about the Wright Brothers where an aviation attack happened. I don't. I, I don't like the correlation there. I don't think. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that was a good call. He, he well, they were going to name it the Maverick oh. and Goose Cafe. Yeah. But then they remembered that was the Navy. There you go. But I guess this Pearl Harbor was probably the. What Navy. would bears? Wait, wait, what would what bears be without bees? I'm for the Navy. Ears. That's what it'd be. <laughs> Got him. Hey, Godwin. Do you know what's blue and not heavy? 
No, I don't know. Light blue. Light blue. Light there you go. Light you know how to make an egg roll? No. Hey, Push it. He says you don't want blue and he- not heavy. I actually it do be not light make blue. It, bro. Well, that was an interesting little start to this podcast. It I was. Didn't see Can we go see Saturn's rings that Cy keeps talking I, I, about? I, oh, yeah. You, let's I, go I would like the problem with Google Maps is it's pretty much just the Earth. Wow, and it's flat. I've been telling you uh-huh. that for a see, while. See, it man. looked, hey, the, the Saturn ring looks flat too, but it's not. It's 3D. Oh, you know where we're going? 3D. Where are we going? To that field. I was seeing. I was what's, just, the, what's in the field? I don't know. I'm trying to find. Gold? I'm going gold? to. I'm going down to where y'all duck hunt. That way we can figure out. Okay, where are you going? I'll be interested to see if you can find where they duck hunt. What? I know exactly where they duck hunt. All right. There it is. You there's go the dog. Bill going. and K Enterprises. You there's, go across that bridge. You landed right on it because there's the dog right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's si, where's the best place to duck hunt on this screen right dog, now? Dog bow. Right there in the center. The right. dog. Dog bayou. Right here? No. The reason, that's, the food, reason. that's a food plot. Yeah. Right here. The big water area. Yeah. Right, with right the, there. With the right two there. little fingers of mm-hmm. the creek. Right there. Look there. at that duck blind. Ooh. I have found one of y'all's duck blinds because on it, Google Maps. Because it's an ancestral I'm gonna name it. hole, J.D. Ancestral? Yeah. It's been there for years. Years and years. Years. And if we want to go to where they Martin duck going, hunts. You better get been, way away from hey, there. They've been traveling. <laughs> they've been Stop. traveling in that highway go in north. the sky. Go north. North. Thousands north. of years. Keep going north. You're going the right way. There we go. There it is. There we are. Golly, we got a pin on it. Ah, They're that. temporarily closed. No, we're permanently closed. Don't pay no attention Don't to that. Don't pay no attention to that. <laughs> It's permanently closed to outsiders. It's like Area 51. Do What's people that? Google map a lot of stuff, or is that just me? Well, you did it. Probably. I do it all the time. I, I never do. Closed. i tell you what I do, which is what's weird, is now that they have like all the lake maps ever of any lake in the country available on your phone, I just go and look at different lake. lakes yep. and the contour lines and like how water flows and crap. Like I'm I'm weird. I get it. That's I, mean, I'm, I do that on land. Yeah. So... You know, now that all the technology exists, it's like, why not use Could it? Could you imagine being the people that showed up here and just started walking and map this out? Lewis and Clark. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Like, how did they yep. do that? I don't even understand. Just like you said, canoes and walk. Yep. Walk. A, they didn't have air conditioning. That's right. No. So they didn't know no better. Yep. No. And I don't know. I guess. That B, was were... back when, okay, that there were buffalo and elk. In Louisiana. Everywhere. Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then we had to come and ruin it all. And then we had a, human beings came and screwed all of it. And we we came along and replaced elk yeah. and buffalo with crackheads. Yeah. Yeah. With meth. Huh. Meth. <laughs> well, we just took a wild turn there. I didn't oh, well, see that. Hey, 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 leave it up to a human being to screw I'm just up. saying, you know, we said, oh, we'll make this better. Yeah. And then we replaced it with yeah. a bunch of crackhead. And then yeah. crack happened. Yeah. Kids, don't do drugs. And we'll then be back after. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hey. That would have been something to be involved in. What's that, crack? No. Oh. Lewis and Clark's <laughs> crack. I'm telling you. Oh, Lewis and Clark's That's crack. a long walk. No, Thank I'm you. out. Right. Now, what are you talking about? Yeah. Let's look it, it up. Been, it would have been an adventure. Look, I barely made it to Oregon on the computer like five times. I always got the dysentery or the typhoid fever. I could ain't no way I could have done it in real life. Well, when we They was, didn't have a computer either. When I came to visit Daddy and Mama when they was in Arizona, Page, Arizona, on top of a mesa, we went for where people, when they was going west, moving west, we went to see some of where they- Your mom and daddy used to live on one of them flat tops Oh, right yeah, there? yeah. Really? Page. Hmm. Really? He, he worked on the uh, plant there. That's cool. Yeah. Steel plant? Huh? Well, it was a, right. a pipe fitter's plant, you know. That is pretty stinking no, no. cool. He lived, he, they done it for about, what, five years. And the whole time that they was there, Lake Powell was on the rise, was filling up. Well, boy, it ain't I, done I, that in a hot. Oh, no, no. Is that why they was on a mesa? Well, no, well, they just, that's what they, they learned that from the river. Hey, that yeah. is, that is, but you talking about pretty. Oh, I bet that'd have been Arizona. a cool place to sit up there and just look around at some things. I, I thought bet that's Arizona neat. was hot. It was cool. Them suckers walked from St. Louis to just about Canada, all the way to the Pacific Ocean over by like Seattle. No, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That's a long walk. I bet you it took and, them more than how many move. years did it take them? A couple. Yeah. Then they had to walk back. There wasn't no return flight. Who was the, who was the president that sent them on that? Oh, T- remember? TJ. Tommy? Thomas Jefferson. Our buddy Tommy. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the most time, most of the time they were doing that, they were in Louisiana. Well, hey. They spent a lot of time. The Louisiana Purchase. They went from St. Louis y'all. to Louisiana. Oh, no, it went way up. There. Yeah, Louisiana was like the whole thing back then. Yeah, yeah. we were the first Texas. We Yeah. Dead gummit. <laughs> In your face, Texas. <laughs> the, oh. Low key, y'all are way better at it than we are. Hey, well, I mean, <laughs> we were so good at it, they had to split us all up. There was no, too many. No, they said if this thing's ever going to survive, we got to get them into smaller chunks. Yeah, we that the too many Louisianians. Yeah. Is that what we are? Yeah, I guess. Red Louisianans? Day. Louisianians? It depends on if you're north or south of I-10, I guess. I guess so. Yeah. There, there's there's such thing as too many of us. Yeah. We're different. Mm-hmm. We are. We are very different. And, hey, I, I think it <laughs> makes us interesting. Well, that, that could be proved we by have, A&E, a TLC. A long legacy. <laughs> there there oh, was a run right. there where they were just searching for weirdos in Louisiana. Oh, well, that wasn't. To nice. put on TV. That was just because of all the tax-free there film credits. That wasn't because we were interesting. Look, they could Lord. do it the cheapest here. Billy the Exterminator begs to differ. Yeah. What's he up to? 5-2, eyes of blue. I thought that was you. I think we probably never No, never mind. Anyway. All right, let's take a break. This is going down the road. Oh, I thought we already took one. (laughs) Oh, I don't know, are we? (laughs) Who knows? Was there a break in there, Hunter? Is there any coffee? I didn't think so. Yeah, go get some coffee and let's figure something out. We got sheets. We got slippers. We got the my pillow towel. Get you dry. Yeah, Mm. they ain't no cheap hotel towel. No, they ain't, and you know it ain't because. Guess what? They're celebrating their twenty year anniversary. You ain't in business twenty years if you make a jump. Happy no. anniversary. You it just don't happen. And look, Michael and Dale and all the folks over at My Pillow want to say thank you by giving the lowest price in the history of the company. That's wild, man. In the history of my pillow. And I thought prices were going up. Yeah, not them. Not they're, them, baby. They're negative inflation. Some would call it deflation. Deflation, uh, you know? baby. I Mike mean, if that's, Dale, model American. Model American, if you if you love America like Mike, you could end up on a pillow too. But look, queen size my pillows are regularly priced at sixty nine ninety eight. Right now, you can get them for only nineteen ninety eight, and for ten dollars mm-hmm. more, get you a king. So that's if you want to be fifty dollars off. If you want to be a king or a queen, they got you. Look, all you have to do is go to mypillow.com and click on the radio podcast square to get Mike's amazing offer on queen size my pillow for only nineteen ninety eight, or call eight hundred nine six nine three one three seven and use promo code duck. My pillow's patented fill adjusts your exact individual needs to help you get the best sleep ever. And in, in addition to the special anniversary offer on the pillow, you're going to get deep discounts on all the My Pillow products. So all of them. Whether you're interested in pet bed, slippers, slippers, My. so much more. Don't tell Brittany them slippers are on sale. I do. I don't. We don't need mm. another pair. The, hers still work fine, but you know, women in shoes, it just happens. It happens. So look, but today, take advantage of the biggest sale in My Pillow's history. All you have to do is go to mypillow.com or call 800 969 3137 and use promo code DUCK. To take advantage of Mike's special offer on his MyPillow. <laughs> That's MyPillow.com, promo code DUCK, or call 800-969-3137. Before we get into the inbox. I need my headphones. Goblin needs his headphones and. Get your ears on. If you're listening to us on one of your favorite podcast apps, be sure to leave us a rating and review. That way more of your friends can find us. Even though I'm not sure how more people could find us because everywhere I go now they talk about the podcast, which is awesome. And Hashtag like and subscribe. Yeah, like and That's subscribe, right. all that good stuff. But and leave a nice review. We're gonna read some. And leave a bad one. We'll read it too. I don't really care. Hmm. Um hey, it's America. You got freedom to choose between one and five stars. You do what you will with it. And we've got the new deal where we're asking y'all to send your questions, short questions, mind you. Succinct to the point. Yeah. If I get bored, I'm not listening to the whole Send thing. it via a voice note or some video or something to Johnny D. Am I just going to play it over my computer and put the microphone towards it? Oh, Hunter can do it. Exactly you just send it to Hunter. He'll put it in in post. It, and the editor's favorite line ever will fix it in post. Yeah, what do you right. got, J.D.? Oh, fix right. it in post. I got a, I got a couple good emails. But what's in that hello at duckcallroom.com inbox, Johnny D? This one I cannot help with. 
at all. Uh oh. I have to turn to the experts. Ethan from a little place called Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Emailed in. I don't know nothing about walleyes. I don't know nothing about walleyes either. Uh, but his buddies have been duck hunting. Do you know anything about duck hunting, God? A little bit. A little bit. Perfect. You're the guys for this. They've all been duck hunting for about four years. They all just turned 18. Sounds great. One of my buddies, we're going to call him Bart, is terrible. His shooting is some of the worst I've ever seen. Out of those four years, he hasn't shot a single duck yet, even though he goes through about a box of shells per hunt. He's always eager to get out hunting, and then he's always eager to leave after sitting out there for 20 minutes. He can't call to save his life, and there's just nothing he brings to the table while we hunt. All the rest of us can call, shoot, have bought decoys. He has done nothing. He's what should a, we do about Bart? He's got a limit. You start a podcast and make him the main character. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I like, hey. I like that. That was good. No, Bart sounds like Bart's got the same problem I've always had my whole life. He gets no respect. Uh, yeah. No. Respect. According to my brother and my nephews, I haven't ever killed a duck in my life. When the truth, the op is just the opposite. I'm the one. That if I didn't go, we wouldn't be eating duck, okay? Because these, these other clowns, no. Uh, they don't bring much to it. I tried to tee you up on that one. So <laughs> Martin that said, good. start a podcast <laughs> and make him the main character. TV show might work too, bud. Yeah, I they ought to give it. that one a whirl. I love it. I uh, love it. Oh, yeah, that was just a joke. Cause no, I, but hey, but for you, your partner, the rest of you should be ashamed of yourself since you all claim to be such uh excellent callers and shots and you're not sharing the wealth to teach your buddy Ooh. your friend <laughs> game on all uh -oh. three of you you idiot yeah i've said what i wanted to say Hey. You should be ashamed of yourself. Teach your buddy what you know, boy. Share. There we go. And before y'all get on me too much in the comments, I was obviously just kidding. I hunt with Cy si a lot, and I <laughs> and we I let him do most blast. of the shooting. And like, we always have a blast. Absolutely. So that was just for pure comedic relief. I got a good rise out of Hunter over there that y'all can do. Hey, occasionally, but, I do shoot decoys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. That's what we take I, him for. I, but you know, I I'm with Cy. Si, like. That. Help him be better. Hey. Why would you why would you love that your friend is miserable at some Hey, ride him like a yard dog. Throw a saddle on him, have your spurs on, and go ahead and have fun with him. <laughs> but hey, in the meantime, teach him how to hunt. The yeah. only thing that concerns me is it says he wants to leave in twenty minutes. <laughs> well then he needs to take his own ride. Yeah, right. that's hey, where he, he drives is. his Take own him. truck. Man. Look, when I go when I go down there at Fields, I know there's a chance they're gonna stay till two o'clock. Your <laughs> so boy hey, takes his own rig. He, hey, no, he drives dark, his own truck. Dark. Yeah. I mean, like, I, right. I take my own four-wheeler. Y'all ain't got nothing else to do, boys. Yeah, I take my own four-wheeler and my own truck. You ain't holding me captive. Mm -hmm. Like, and I ain't saying I want to be there 20 minutes, but he needs to, <laughs> if he wants to leave after 20 minutes, then he needs to take his own rig. <laughs> There you go. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, you should <laughs> tear it up. No. It's making lemon tea. But shame on them. At least a boy likes to go. Who That's cares? Right. Hey. Like, a lot of times it's hard to find people that actually want to go with you. There you go. I was just going to say, I have been there before that I couldn't get no one to go with. Yeah. Them. And while duck hunting is fun alone, it's way more fun it, with hey, friends. You always oh, take yeah. someone, that is correct. someone with you. It, the journey's way funner. If someone else is there with you. Yeah. You now, good? there's about two, maybe three times a year I go strike out by myself just because I need a little alone and little, quiet That's time, right. A little, little time alone. But, I mean, I don't – Bart doesn't seem like the kind of guy that – does he want to call? Hey, he seems Probably. like he's perfectly happy with where he's at in the duck hunting world. Just so, firing off rounds. So, you just – y'all boys need to suck it up and just call Teach it him good. to shoot. Well, I mean, he's got – But I'll say I was the new guy – for a while there and had no clue how to duck hunt but i can go ahead and tell you if y'all been doing it for four years and think you're good at it you're wrong yeah, Ooh. That's right. <laughs> zing again big guy i'm just ethan saying didn't, hey, ethan thought we were gonna pile speaking, on bart and hey, Ethan's just he's speaking the, the truth in love i'm just telling you how it is that's i didn't it. even uh, at four years my love for it was extremely strong but i still wasn't no good at it 
And like, I mean, it took me probably 15 years before I felt like I was very proficient at it. Mm -hmm. Fast forward to now, 27 years into it, I think I'm. And you're okay. a fair hand. I think I'm decent now. Right. You're you know. a fair hand. That's exactly I'm officially right. to the age where I don't have to tote everything anymore, which is a good stage to get out of. Like yeah. when you can just tote your own stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and not have to tote nobody else. And not have to tote, well, not have to tote every Load the wagon, every, baby. Everything. But, but I mean, I, when I first got into duck hunting, I did. you have to have someone teach you. Oh, 100%. And I, rem I went with Stone and Godwin one day. I went with you a lot. I went with Gimber a lot. Which is what, and us, that's how you. Ha that's how I had to learn. Us duck hunters are notoriously bad at teaching because once you get to like a certain level, you only want to hunt with hunters of that level, mm -hmm. and it's hard to take a step back and hunt with people that haven't been doing it as long, and because you know they're going to flare ducks, they're going to do something goofy. They're if you're videoing, if you're videoing, they're going to jump up and try to shoot first, and yep. they ain't going to kill nothing. And they ain't going to kill nothing. When yep. the rest of us are just like, hey, man, let him dance over the decoys. The more footage we get of him, that's fine before we get to shooting. But they just, they're always in like a race, in a race to get him. You got to kill him. <laughs> um, well, the problem is they race to get him, and then they don't take they the time, miss. and they miss. And then you ruin the whole scene and everything else with it. But um no teach him keep going with him i mean if he bows out one day he'll bow out but if the boy's enjoying it now i would talk to him about the 20 minute deal that's a little can't that, do that. that's annoying but yeah. um you know but anytime i have a back end or something where i know like i've got a hard out at eight or so i just take my own i take everything myself whether it be vehicle boat whatever I provide my own means of transportation so I can go. So, Bart, if you are going to be the guy that wants to leave after 20 minutes, you need to invest in four-wheeler boat and yeah. all your stuff yeah. and be prepared to tote it out of there by your lonesome whenever yeah. that happens. But, right. but Ethan, be a better friend, man. Like, Ooh. the boy likes to go. Like, yeah. Let him yeah. go. Hey. I mean, I got a bunch of people that I'd rather not hunt with, but they love going, so I – Let's go. Martin, would you like to name those people? No. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to listen to this anyway. It wouldn't matter, but I could. But <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Yeah, 100%. I really didn't know we were going to pile on Ethan like that, but I enjoyed yep. it very much. All right, next one. Confused <laughs> on how to talk to a... Dog? Nope. Um, nope. That apparently a is woman easier. or a girl, boys. Yeah. I, we have so many of these emails. I mean, I get it. Like, it blows we've out my kicked, mind. We've outkicked our coverage. Every last one of us. Yeah. That's probably uh, why we, they want our advice. But we probably shouldn't be where you turn for relationship advice. And we probably should be. Really? Why not? Um, I mean, my man didn't put his email in. It starts with a C, though. Uh, his name is. His name starts. He's been listening for a while, and he's heard some surprisingly good advice. So uh, I guess he's with you, Martin. It was surprising. Yeah. There's a girl at his church that he likes, and he's not sure if she likes me. I would tell her I like her, but I don't know how. I like you is the start. I would, I would just like to ask how to go about it and when you know if it's the right moment to tell her. Also, before anyone says to body slam her, <laughs> she's not that kind of girl no nobody body slamming's out somebody you, you know? know you don't oh, body I was slam just all day. i beg to differ how you do you know there. <laughs> that's an awful bold claim that's to make it. if hey, you ain't I even beg got to differ with you there if okay. you ain't even got the stones to go talk to her that's right hey yeah like i don't understand that it's why a, are men so afraid it's these an, days of rejection it's no, an no. epidemic in our emails and we need to we need to face it yeah. no no Here's the thing. He, he, you said it. Why, why are we so afraid, afraid of rejection? Afraid of rejection. Now? And hey, look, you're gonna be rejected in your life sometime. Hundred percent. Okay, yeah. that's just a given. It's like when. But I, hey, that's part of the game. Get up and keep going. Yeah. Hey, you get up and hey, the next one you see. No, that didn't work. Hey, well, you may say, hey, you would you like to go to the movie with well, me? Well, there and you go. She's not be fired up. Talking about, well, sure I do. Yeah. What are we going to what, see, Joseph? What Will? if she's waiting on you to? <laughs> yeah. Hey, a lot of them. Thinking about are just what about the guy was said. I wish this idiot would finally get off his rear end and ask me out. Mm -hmm. They're waiting on you. You know, they're waiting on you, dude, and you're sitting there. How do I talk to her? Hey, you go up and say, hey, you good-looking heifer, you. 
You want to go out and get a Coke and then y'all go to a movie or something? Notice he didn't say Pepsi. Hey, and I Amen. didn't say Pepsi either. Yeah. <laughs> and once the relationship is, is started, then I'm like, hey. There you go. You, know, you want to go out and go dancing and you want to go to a club somewhere? And I mean. Good, good, but, good fun? But really, though, are we at a point where people are just so scared No, no, I'm going to tell you why. Why? That stupid little thing called a cell phone. But that should make it easier if you don't have to face it. No, no, because they don't know how to talk anymore. Well, that might be yeah. it. This All thing right. was made to talk. Well, then take a note out of George Strait's playbook and write her note says, check yes That's or right. no. Yeah, check, check yes, yes or no. Or there, now. there you go. Down I remember now. them days. Hey, you never can go wrong with music. Do you boys. like me, yes you or no. You can never go wrong using music. I don't Man. think that's going to work you love? from experience. What? Wait, hold on. Uh -oh. I'm out. Hunter's Here we go. chiming in. Hunter's oh. a young single man. The producer has spoken. From, from experience in my high school days, um, that does not work. Check yes or no doesn't work Check. anymore? No. no not time out. Time it out. What are you, what, it, no. Hold it. No. no. I know. I'm not saying what are you defining as didn't work. They check yeah. no. They don't that, check anything. <laughs> they just get rid of the note. Well, then put a maybe. <laughs> like, add a third box. There that's no go. maybe. Yeah. Like, that's when, hey, that's when you them. confront them face to face and say, hey, look, little girl, I wrote you a note, and hey, that's I want an guy. answer, no, whether it be no. yes or no, no, no you're going to give me an answer. No, now see, time oh, yeah. out. Now, I no, am, no. I am a firm believer <laughs> that no response is, is a, a response. Is a response. Is in yeah. fact a response. It is. I, I'm that, a firm that, believer in that's that. That's right. You got a point there. So, but I mean, I just I don't know. My parents raised me that the worst thing Wait people were ever going to tell you was no. Oh, yeah. You done that in high school? Oh, Hunter. Yeah, it was just last week. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit. Hey, that's, I want that's who What did it say? Did it the say? The note stop at junior high. Oh, you can do notes all the way. I, no. I left my wife a note no. last night. Hey, well, yeah. that's different. She Me checked too. no. Yeah. Hey, but it was I, worth a shot. I left her one, too. It said get bottled water and, and trash bag. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes your notes change, but I left one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate them notes that's on the bathroom when you wake up in the morning. Uh -oh. And they they so don't clog it up again. I don't or? like you know it's you know you're doing this. You need to stop doing this. I don't like it. Oh, accountability. No. Oh, good great. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. Uh -oh. That's a name. I like <laughs> 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 no. Anyways, oh. there is a there's a problem. Hey, there's this, you, you know you got to have a little. Yo. There is an epidemic facing our young people. They're yeah. afraid, there he is. There he is. afraid of rejection, of rejection. or it. something. Yep. I don't yep. know. Or they just have zero self confidence at all. Probably because they are on their phones all the time, looking at all these other people who are faking what they have, and you never see their real life. And they're like, "Oh, I stink compared to this guy." But like, yeah, it, everybody stinks. So yeah, just have some self confidence. Right. Write a note if you have to. It says, "Hey, you want to go get a pizza and make out? Yes or no?" And she says no, you say, I cannot believe you don't like pizza. She will laugh. You will be rewarded, sir. It works every time. And truth be known, if she doesn't like pizza, she's not the girl for you. Amen right. and amen. And she's not the girl for anybody. So I ain't the girl for me. Because then Could she you probably. imagine a she, woman that didn't like pizza being married to that? I bet she likes Pepsi. <laughs> and salad. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they eat at Subway for lunch. Personal experience, guys. Here we go. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. There's some beautiful women out there, okay, and and guys are too scared to actually talk to them. I've actually talked to them and found out. He ain't afraid to talk to them. You know, no, no, I'm serious. <laughs> I actually, and I said, hey, you know, what is with these guys at school? She said, they'll look at me, but they won't ever come up and talk to me. I said, mm -hmm. well, darling, you, uh, you have looked in the mirror. You are you are drop-dead gorgeous. She said, yeah, and it's a curse because they won't talk to me. Oh, I guarantee you I talk to them. Well, no, no. They, <laughs> I, would, I would. Hey, y'all need to learn from this. They're wondering what is wrong with you. That's right. 
Why are you afraid? Yeah, why are you afraid? So the time is right. Yeah, right so, now. So, hey, the time yeah. is now. Get and, off this right moment thing. Yeah. You ain't proposing. Yeah, yeah the, mm. the right moment is the first time that you see each other and you're yeah. both breathing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's the right up. moment. Yeah. Hey, 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 expect hey. if you're breathing. Hey, what you doing man. tomorrow night? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I would enjoy spending time with you. with you. If she takes your breath away, hey, you need to go talk to her. Now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Call her. Right. Call her. Good Stop day. this podcast. And it don't make no difference what you call her. Just call her. Call her. That's it. Hey, and if you have to, just play this part for her. Hey. Mm-hmm. Say, hey, what do you think about this? Yeah. About, hey, look, we're about to ask her out for you. Yeah. Martin, how would you do What's it? her name? Do we know her name? No. Hey, you want to go? Hey, you want to I, I, I was a time? firm believer in the first one being like totally up to them like coffee breakfast something where we both drive we don't pick each other up and there's a way out for them because if they're not digging it they need to go and if i'm not digging it i need to get the heck out of here too yeah, like <laughs> it can I mean, go both ways guys and girls but like dinners and movies are always yeah. those are movies weird don't so like, do a movie so like start at picture shows are weird no i'm like saying first for, for number one because there's you're, there's then a captive audience because nobody's going to want to get up and walk out of there. Look at breakfast. You're like, oh, I got to go to work. I got to. There's a hundred different things you got to do before nine a.m. in the morning. You're a lot already of time, saying so. it's not going to work before you. Even I'm talk not to saying it. it's not going to work. I'm That's just what saying, you're make saying it. I'm getting out of here. Martin already said he's bringing work. his own four wheeler and he's got an escape. That's plan. right. Your boy ain't scared to just. Woo, woo. Hey, I mean, like. If it ain't working, it ain't working. There's no reason to waste either of your yeah, time to yeah. say make it work. Yeah. Like either it works or it don't. So do something where you can both make that decision. Yeah. Huh. It's not rude, mm. and you don't have to sit there next to him for Go two and a half hours in a, in a movie. If you're like, man, this person appalls me. Like, yeah. yeah, movies movies are weird as an early date because you're not well, getting you to don't know talk anybody in the movie anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You like, don't want to go on a date to a movie early on. I'm not interested in Make wasting time. Hunting, that'll do it. Squirrel hunting. Time's the one thing we don't get back, so I'm not interested in wasting get, it if it ain't going to work. Get to the point. And you only get one of these. Yeah. So that's the way you're supposed to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. So you got if you're looking for the one person that you're going to be like, hey, you want to sleep in the same bed and hang out every day and annoy each other for the rest of our lives that's till right. we're about 80 yeah. and die, and our- you might want to dial that in and not be afraid of rejection or hurting somebody's feelings. Yeah. You might have to tell somebody, you know what? You're not the person <laughs> I want to do those things with, and you deal with it. Yeah, mm. I agree. And respect the answer. Yeah. Whatever the nice answer is, it. respect yeah. it. Move on. You can be nice about no it. No is no. That's fine. No is fine. Yeah. It's okay to say. No that. doesn't mean try harder. There's all. No <laughs> is no. no. There, there's That's all. Right. Moving on. <laughs> no doesn't mean try harder might be the most important thing you've ever told anybody on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mark. just saying. That's it. Like, no is no. Get the heck out of there. No right. doesn't there's mean answer. try harder. Yeah. I, I'm that's just, good advice I'm that just, is great advice, advice. <laughs> put, put that on a t-shirt hunter yeah, yeah. send that one to be, instagram then you just become a no wear that one to the breakfast like i mean whatever wear that one to the yeah do whatever you gotta do but <laughs> oh, oh well i guess we can now take a break I don't know how long let's we've take, a break. Yeah. take a break take a break try to cool down a little bit i'm gonna send my wife a note hey i didn't tell y'all look tell me I meant to tell y'all this other day. Man. Tell it to me now. Because I think Cy may actually. And you waited this long? Yeah. I think Cy may actually be legitimately somewhat excited about this. So you remember we hunting with Johnny D's uncle, Mac, who's mm-hmm. been on the podcast for. If y'all ain't seen that one, go fly back and watch that one because Mac's a genius. However, what did he bring with him every morning to the duck blind? <laughs> Ooh, oh. Biscuits. A biscuit, bacon. a biscuit pan. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A company has started making those biscuit pans again. Oh. oh, okay, they did. And I may or may not have procured said biscuit pan. Oh. Well, where is it? It's in my office. Oh, well, good. Mm-hmm. I need to try it. Well, out. we ain't got no fire in here to cook biscuits. Yeah. Oh, we. Well, I'll so. make sure we do. <laughs> He'll bring a portable. So I'm just saying, Sai, this duck season things are looking up. Oh, yeah. We got a biscuit pan. No. All we need is oh, to that'd go. Be, that that used to be the highlight of the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, I must, yeah, forget the duck. All right. I can't eat no jelly. That used to be, though. and look, here's the thing. Here's the great thing about it. Last field to make you Any some sugar-free jelly. Yeah, Owens would go into the kitchen to, to do the biscuits. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I'm about just to break about the time they got done and he brought them out on everybody's plate, we'd get them in our lap, and hey, it happened most every every time. By the time you'd get your food, here come a bunch getting the decoys. Yeah. Food on the floor. Food oh. on the floor, and everybody stood up, shot the ducks, and then I think y'all can tell by looking at me there was never food on the floor. Y'all go ahead and shoot them. <laughs> I'm going to finish my biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, when I was just in Colorado with Mac. Did he make you some? Oh, every night. Ah. Oh, no, he done them, that. Them angel biscuits? In his little pan? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, he, had, he had done got that down to a science. Buddy. Unbelievable. It was, my, it was my grandmother's recipe, yeah. and I ate eight of them the first night. God bless you. Well, the first, I ain't even mad at you for like not uh, bringing anybody. The first four was with in butter. The oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh straight out the oven. Oh yeah. Mm. First four with butter, and then the next four, he said, "Well, for dessert, Phil and Kay sent me some Mayhaw jelly," right. and I said, "Boys, I've made it to the promised land." Yeah, it's not. Boy. And I looked hey. at my kids and said, "Y'all don't get none of this." Yeah, no, this don't waste it. Me. Don't, don't waste it on them. right now. You don't get. Oh, any. and I was like, I don't know how I, I. I'm one of the few people in the last like ten years. That have combined Max Biscuit and Phil's Jelly together. Mm -hmm. We, used to, we used to eat it every morning. Oh, every it morning. was magic. Every morning. morning. I'd, I'd be sitting there because, you know, for the most part, duck hunting sucked. Like after the woodies were done, there was always like that hour and a half, two hour lag before you ever even saw another duck, generally. That's right. And all I would be sitting there on my little bucket because Phil didn't believe in a chair with a backrest was, uh, sitting on a hydraulic fluid bucket and i'm just waiting to smell that butter where max butter in that skillet and melting it mm. before he puts the biscuits in there and when i'd smell that butter start to brown in that thing I, uh, i'd wake up i'd be like okay mm -hmm. boys but, but, it ain't things no. but you, you, you couldn't the worst seat in the duck blind was right next to mac why? Because, because you had to pass the had first pass. ones yeah. all the way down. All you were the, the last down. one to yeah. get one yeah <laughs> that would yeah you like, get yours last like phil always got the first one out of the pan then jace got the next one and then generally goblin or stone whoever but i was always pretty close to max so i was just always just passing food by me and i, I mean i would get so sad by the time he, got got, the aroma. he finally yeah. got his it, hey i'd be so sad yeah but i'd be so hungry oh, by the time i got yeah. but of course you were the cool thing was you were the first one to get seconds though because you knew just how many biscuits were left in that pan oh, so you yeah. could slide over there Oh, so so if you could just it you know endure the hardship of passing the first round all the way past you, you were actually in a pretty good spot to get. And the these second. are the bit they ain't even like a real biscuit. They're like a roll and a biscuit, right? Yeah, they're whatever yeah. they are. They're uh, fantastic. Uh, and then when he didn't have time to make the dough or whatever, he would just let me tell you something right now. Don't shake. Don't turn your head at no Pillsbury that he throws in there either. Mm -hmm. Now it's just as. Good. I mean, it ain't just as good, but. In a duck blind, he's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. A Pillsbury biscuit with Mayhaw jelly and butter in him is still fine. Like oh yeah, and then he'd make him cinnamon. Make rolls. cinnamon rolls. He would oh, he would do yeah. the canned them, cinnamon rolls. Them things and things were good. Oh man, like a duck hunting treat that can't be beat. Yeah, for you folks that don't know what we're talking about, it's just like a little cast iron cornbread pan yeah. is what we grew up yeah. my gr my grandmother actually had now i wasn't ever gonna bring that one yeah down. eight minutes on no. each side but because i got that at the house and i don't even cook with it because i'm scared i'm gonna break it but it was just it was just it's a little pan that closes up on itself where you could cook cornbread and stuff over an open fire it, or a gas stove. Ways. yeah mm. and you just do like four to four to eight minutes on one side mm. flip it over flip it over four and to eight minutes but then you could crack it and make sure it was as brown as you wanted to if it wouldn't you go back to the fire a little bit and if not you know if it's done it's done oh you was can it the same you can size? cook them too perfectly mm -hmm. this one is this one like like mammals and max too were kind of the oblong round shape this one's yeah. more of a square so oh yeah but it's the same no, deal. No. And I was, oh, yeah. I mean, the guy walked no. up to me. You were there. He was there. He was selling them at that deal. Was it? Yeah. And I missed it. Uh huh. Because he walked up to me and he handed it to me and he said, Do you know what this is? I said, Buddy, I know oh, exactly oh, yeah. what yeah. that we is. We know what huh. that is. Martin and, said, Sign me up. Well, I yeah. said, How much? Yeah. I just said, How much? And he said, Well, no, y'all are the reason that we started making these things. From watching those videos in the past, then we got to looking for them, couldn't find them, and he said, "I'm a I'm an iron worker, so I just decided to I cast make, my own." Yeah, I cast my own. There and I said, "Well, buddy, I said whatever whatever you're charging, I'll take it." And he said, "No, this one's just a thank you." And I said, "Well, watch." You're this. welcome. <laughs> I said, "Most of the time, I walk around these shows with stuff people give me, and I try to just let them get out of sight, and then I go throw it in the garbage." <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah. that ain't going anywhere. Yeah. I said, but yeah. watch this. And I took my backpack off and I unzipped it and I put it inside my backpack. Oh, yeah, this is going I back said, in my back. I said, this one's going home. I need to procure me one of those. Mm-hmm. 100%. Did you get his card? I do. Good I, deal. I've got his card. I need I, to take a picture of it. He said he was going to make us some more with the Duck Commander logo on them. That'd so, be good. Um, that we could have just for ourselves. He said he'd make everybody one. So. Oh. Yeah, oh, it was, oh no. I'm hungry. But there you go. That's how you make biscuits over an open fire. So right. we may can find a clip from back in the day to put on there to show you exactly what we're talking oh, yeah. about. But uh, oh, we used to have full blown meals. Oh yeah, we place. eat our way out of that place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And look at us now. Yeah, <laughs> we've had fried crappie. Yeah, we fried, fried crappie. crappie in there. Cooked steak. That's the crappy fries. Oh, oh the best thing teal about teal season. teal season, we used to go kill a mess of doves oh, the evening yeah. before oh, and yeah. bring the doves and grill them and in hey, there with us. Stone, stone, we'll cook them up. And, yeah. Woo, they were good. Yeah, 100%. Sit there and eat doves in Have the back blind. Phil said, y'all can do this every day. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, Johnny D. This is a ma- I just decided to Google Mac Owen Biscuit Duck Commander, and I found a old forum about duck hunting. Um, Which one, Duck Hunter's Refuge? Or- yep, Duck yeah. Hunter's Refuge. Yeah. And a guy said, I was trying to figure out from the Duck Commander DVDs how they got these biscuits. Well, I found Mac's phone number and called him, and he asked him where he got that pan. He informed me that he had bought that from an old lady on the side of the road in Arkansas. Oh, mm-hmm. yep. yeah. That's exactly um, right. Yeah, you couldn't find them anymore. Like, mm-hmm. and, and the people that you, if you found it in an antique store, they knew what they had. They and they it. were extremely proud of it. Oh, yeah. It's like trying to find one of the OG Magnolite pots in it. I mean, like, you you got to give up part of your firstborn to get it. And, you know, some things, while you do have all this nostalgia and memories of it, some things it just ain't worth it. And you're like, well, whatever. But, man, they it I got such fond memories from it because that's how my grandma made cornbread. Mm-hmm. She made cornbread and that thing on, on her gas stove because forever she didn't have an oven. You know, she did everything on the stove top. So, like... That's how she would make cornbread. She would make little cakes in that thing. Like, you name it. Oh, no. She she did all of her bacon on a stovetop, on a gas stovetop with that guy. And, man, it just, you won't talk about good. But it makes portable instant hot biscuits. Do you like, know how good? To, to perfection. Absolutely. I'm talking about, it, you can't, yeah, you can't, no, these are, are they're, Brown, perfect on both both Johnny sides. Johnny D, he's just thinking about it. Oh, you know, you know the other reason they're so good because mm-hmm. you know you can't get nothing else to eat where you're at. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're way out. Oh, you are boy. way too far away from breakfast. That's why even. I said it, it's about. It's not really about the hunt. It's about who you're with and what you're doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Ethan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. It really is. Oh, man. Hey, I remember so many fond memories. Mac had just left, got up, told me, all right, I'm going to cook breakfast. And I look up, and here come one Woody coming over, and he was high. So I said, hey, don't nobody move. I said, I'm going to kill this Woody. So when he come over, I raised up, boom, shot. Well, Mac's in, in the kitchen cooking. Well, by the time he walked out, okay, the duck, it took him like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. The duck just hit the water. He said, good grief, how high was he? I said, oh, he was up there. And that, <laughs> that sounded like me. Yeah, I said, hey, Wait. he was up there. How high was he? <laughs> hey, the longest shot I ever seen was Jason Robertson made it with the, with the, uh, he actually had two guns in the blind. He had his Browning with three shells in it, and then had a 10 gauge with three shells in it. Pump. Jason. We got mad. in. We <laughs> got in. Look here. Look. He, they called him in. Him and Phil called him in. It was two bunches. They split. And and the one bunch was backpedaling in the decoys. The other bunch was about, oh, 50 yards high when we shot the bunch in the decoys. Well. Jace raised up and killed three with that browning, set it down, grabbed that 10-gauge, and killed two 
with the 10 gauge out of the high bunch. And I'm telling you, it was like, boom, boom. And then it was like 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. How far are we going to go? 1,006. Splash! Pretty impressive. 1,007, 1,008, 1,009. Splash! And I said... His seconds are on point, though. Yeah, yeah. looking at the clock. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I'm telling you, I, it was like 10 seconds before the, you heard the splash of the duck on water. You ever notice, though, every time we did stop to eat, there would always be ducks coming in? Oh, no. no. You know why? I'm, I'm a firm believer in this. Well, it's like every time you quit and pick up the decoys. Because none of us were standing up. We weren't talking. We were quiet. They couldn't see nothing. <laughs> we just sitting there. Just, <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no. And their decoys were doing their job. Well, I was fixing to say, you're right. It kind of it kind of goes right. against like duck call sales. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Like, every time yeah. we would go, yeah. and you look up and you're like. When you're feeding your face, dang. there wasn't no be, nothing being said, nothing being blown, okay? Yeah. And nobody's up, nobody's moving. Come it's right in the plug. In the face. I think yep. that's the best advice we could give Ethan. Hey, I'm serious. Y'all need to start eating mm -hmm. down there. There you go. Up Bart there. might be the biscuit man. He yeah. might be. Well, it always there happens every time he hands us the plate. That's what I say. You bring the grub, yeah. you get invited well, back every time. Because then the next thing everybody did, as soon as you got eaten, everybody in the blind stood up to stretch to make a little more room and then five millimeter needle right. green waders that you couldn't food. breathe in. Oh, take you take your that. food down. Yeah. Good grief. <laughs> oh, How did funny. we hunt them? No, hey, we way. always had seconds. Because you got through eating the biscuits, then you look like a can of biscuits oh, yeah. and them neoprene yeah. waders. Sure I mean, like ready to pop out of them. <laughs> just just oh. unbelievable. Oh, yeah. And we thought we was duck hunting. No, nah, we just Oh, that was duck hunting. Oh, it was duck hunting, but man, okay. if we'd have just had breathable waders back in, ain't no telling how many biscuits I could have ate. I know. More Unbelievable. The, them neoprene things was, oh, so uncomfortable. Mm. Unbelievable. But there's a walk down memory lane for y'all. That's And fine. if you don't know. Now you do. Go check it You're out. You're missing go, it. Go check out the old That's videos. Right. It'd oh, be like yeah. Duckman. It's weather the storm. I yeah, think. probably 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there. There's, I mean, it was in all of them. Them it was, was on the, the good old days. It was the Benelli Presents Duck Commander show, too, because that's what, once we did it the first time, then, like, that's what led to frying fish in there. And oh, cooking, yeah. What, we cooked crab legs in one oh, no, of them or did. something? Like, oh, did. I mean, yeah. we did oh, it they all. Had king like, crab legs there mm, in the blind. Yeah. So, somebody sent us. Yeah, somebody sent them in, and yeah, we boiled them. them in the blind, right, steamed boiled them in the blind. Them in the blind. Yeah, I always notice on them days Al would show up. You oh yeah, oh that? no, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Al was that. He, that's why he feels that vest that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and this yeah, was yeah. even pre-vest. He didn't <laughs> even need one. Then. That, he's had uh, oh, Al in his vest. <laughs> but yeah, so folks in the comments, there if, it is, if you if you duck hunt, what's your favorite duck blind cooking? Now we all there know Little goes. Debbie got the corner on a snack. Oh, there, there it is. There that's it. Is. It. Look yeah. at the brown that's on that. On that, that's perfect. And see how that pans all long. That's yep. why I'm saying all the old school ones were like look that. At the, look at that. Oh my that. word! Praise be, buddy. That's perfect, boy. Praise be. That look, that's it. Is Jesus. perfect. These but now he's got two going. The one that the guy's making now. The name of the deal. I loved his name too. The name of his company was called Duck Blind Bistro. Like this little free, okay, a yeah. free, a free little ad uh, hoc. For, that came up for whenever I was, I was trying Duck to Blind find. Bistro. Yeah, yeah. And, but it's a square pan. It's yeah. not the oblong pan. So. Um, if you you're like, well, that get more in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm sure you yeah, could. There's the one. But... That, uh, you got was... Yeah, that's it. That's ah, the one. That's the yeah. one that I got in my yeah. office right yep. now. Yep. So it's the same concept, oh. just a different shape. Yep. Yeah. So if you see it and you're interested, give them boys a chance. They're they're from Alabama somewhere or something like they just a small business and. Just a guy chasing a it's dream. It's worth buying, boys. Wow. Yeah. And I don't see, look. He got a handle co cover for it. Yeah, and you can that way. So when you open it, you can pop that off and just grab one of the handles with it. Right, but while awesome. it's in your bag, it stays together, and you don't have to worry about cracking your cast iron. Yeah, like. I'm in. Yeah, I'm interested. So 
Yeah, that's the deal. Oh, so, look, he's got a great part. Well, oh, we, yeah. we did that deal for a while, like talking about small businesses. There's our small business highlight. There, there you go. The, the, the Duck Blind, blind bistro. bistro. Duck, duck Blind Bistro. And if you have any of those oblong shaped ones that you're just trying to get rid of, 117 Kings Lane, West Monroe, that's Louisiana, right. 71292. We'll, we'll take them. Yeah, we will 100% take them. If for some reason you're like, man, I don't ever use this, and you don't have no nostalgic oh, memories, yeah. we will we will gladly mm-hmm. take those It'll off It'll make me go get another Five gallon bottle of betaine. Five <laughs> gallon bottle. Oh man, we've somehow chewed up an hour though. Ooh, Johnny D, you oh. wanna is there a is there a Bible verse about biscuits? Uh you know what? Close enough. <laughs> oh, I think I got one pretty <laughs> close. One. Right. One, I, I think I'm gonna surprise you with what I got. There's one about a curly headed man cooking people biscuits in the Bible. Uh, that, <laughs> we don't know about their curly hair, but one of them had to be in charge of this part of it. Uh Acts two forty two. And they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and and prayers. Amen. It's good to get together with friends and eat and eat well. Amen. We're pros at that, and that is just a good thing. It's biblical, people. That's it. We'll see y'all next time here in the Duck Call Room. We're out. Oh, bang.